Hey guys, Nabil here. The Switch turned out to be quite the system for both Nintendo and fans alike. Now, I ordered a Nintendo Switch a few years ago when it came out, and I've been having a blast, specifically that SNK started releasing exclusively the Neo Geo Pocket color games on the Switch. And I've been having a blast playing all these classic, uh, like uh, King of Fighters R2, Samurai Showdown 2, and of course, SNK versus Capcom Match of the Millennium. I love my Nintendo Switch and I like to play it mostly in docked mode. Now here's the thing, I do play most of the time, or all the time actually, in my office where I record this video, where I you know, work on my computer, um, and however, the Switch is also you know, my daughter's favorite console. So I had to move the Switch and the dock at least into the living room where she can play. What happens is when I wanna play myself, I find myself really lazy to take the dock uh, docking station and the cables and then bringing them here plugging them in so I ended up just playing on uh, You know on handheld mode and I was considering getting a new you know a docking station for the PlayStation for the, uh, for the Nintendo switch But I really you know I saw the price and it's a little bit too expensive Luckily I found this little thing right here, which is the Brooks switch HDMI cable now when I first saw it I was like well I mean an HDMI cable, what's, what's the point, right? I just thought it was a normal HDMI cable that you're gonna use with a docking station. So I do think that they should rename this because it offers a lot more than that. In fact, this is basically a docking station without the station. Now let's unbox this thing and talk about it. Now, as usual, we gotta remove the, the Brooks seal. And let's go ahead and box this thing. And as you can see, this actually has a cable and an HDMI to TV and, and it has a charger, a charger, an actual charger that comes with it, as well as, of course, the Type-C, which you connect to the switch. So what is this thing? It is, is, it is an HDMI cable, but it's not, that's not the full story. This is basically is a docking station. So all you have to do is plug in the Nintendo Switch to the USB side of the cable, plug in the charger into an outlet, and plug in the HDMI cable to your television, and voila, the actual thing turns into a docking station and you can connect your Nintendo Switch to your TV as if it is connected to the original Nintendo docking station. Now, all I have to do is plug this thing and then take my Switch Pro controller and I can instantly switch to the docked mode and I can play on television. Now, this is really a cool, cool thing and I, I don't understand. This is, you know, of all the, the, um, the Brooks uh, actual products, I think this one has the wrong name, the HDMI cable is not is not a good name for it. This should be HDMI docking cable or something like this because I thought I seriously thought I saw this so many times and I thought it's just an HDMI cable for the Nintendo Switch, nothing more to it. But it it's really 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 handy if you don't want to have um, you know uh, an extra docking station to you know take with you or if you're traveling because this is really easy. It's just a cable you can pack it in if you're traveling and then you can connect it to your um, actual um, you know, television or you know, hotel television or whatever and play some new Geo Pocket Color games or some Nintendo Switch games, including Samurai Showdown. Now, I really hope that SNK will release the King of Fighters 15 on the Nintendo Switch. Let's see what happens. Now, once connected, it, this really plays like being on the docking station. There's absolutely no extra lag added, uh, no screen tearing, the, the image is clear. It's HD, it's pretty much the same as having the original Nintendo docking station plugged into your television and having your Switch in it. The Switch HDMI cable slash docking station with the charger will cost you $39.99, uh, which is a lot cheaper than, of course, buying a second docking station from Nintendo. 
that those are expensive and they come without a charger. So this is again a cool solution for people who travel a lot and a cool solution for people who wants to you know leave the docking station in one room and be able to just plug the Nintendo Switch and any other TV that they have in, in their house. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you're interested in the Brooks HDMI cable for the Nintendo Switch, there's a link in the description for you to be able to purchase the uh, item. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video from Neo Geo Now. Now, don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not done so. And I would like to take this opportunity and thank my patrons for supporting the channel and making this content possible. Making daily videos and especially the documentaries and lore episodes takes a very long time and a lot of effort, and being able to get some support for these time-consuming tasks allow me to keep going and strive for more and better content. With that said, I want to give a big special shout out to Michael, Brian Yard, Fahad Aswadi, Heinz Green 3, SSBM Slick Tricks, Jacques Paul, and Ken Suenaga. As well as special thanks to Shaka Asamiya, Refugio Robles, Felipe Guimara, Ji Hao Ju, Gil Sal, Mohamed Al Blushi, Anthony Longino, and Bernd Ritnas. Those of you who are not yet Neo Geo Now patrons, I hope you will check my Patreon page where you can become patrons, helping the channel produce more videos as well as receive special perks that are exclusive to patrons, like early access to videos, exclusive making offs, and other SNK digital goodies. Link for the Neo Geo Patreon page is in the description below. So until next time, thank you for watching.